The Business Select Committee has been very critical of the government over the sale of Royal Mail. They say the taxpayer lost out on a billion pounds. Would you like to apologise to the taxpayer? Well, I just, am afraid, don't agree. Uh, so the Royal Mail, for years, has lacked investment, uh, and as a result, it's fallen behind uh, with uh, new technology. And by the way, the, these companies like TNT and Deutsche Post, they were European, they were Dutch and German post offices, or Royal Mails, the equivalent, that were privatised, and they stole the march on the Royal Mail. Now, I want the Royal Mail to be out there winning business. I want the people working for the Royal Mail to have uh, you know, good and successful futures in that company. And that means getting money in, which is what we've done. It means supporting you, you the could, workforce. You, you and by the way, we've raised some money for the taxpayer, not only yeah, but, the £2 billion not pounds from the sale. Not well, enough. What, what this, mean, let, let me put this blunt, bl bluntly to you. My sources tell me that the Treasury warned Vince Cable he was underpricing the share offer. Is that true? I think we got, a, we got the right price as advised at the time. So, um, so the Treasury didn't warn Vince Cable? No, the Treasury absolutely supported the sale of Royal Mail. No, I know, I know and, that. And, no, and, that share price. And, and agreed the approach to the sale and the share price. But l let, me, um, let me be clear. It's, we still own a big chunk of Royal Mail. So when the share price goes up, we're still the biggest single owners of the Royal Mail. And so taxpayers are better off. Also, many uh, postmen and postwomen bought... Uh, shares in the Royal Mail through, because we gave them that chance. So they too have seen the value of their shares go up. You know, I find it very, you get a lot of criticism from people who said they were going to uh, bring more money into the Royal Mail and get part of it into private hands and failed. And I think, you know, they are uh, frankly covering up for the fact that they were not able to provide a secure future for this uh, company. Uh -huh.